Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just carried a big box of stuff up to my classroom. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to show um, a classroom before video, just kind of to show you guys how my classroom set up so far, just as I walked in for the school year. Um, and then we'll see how it transforms when I really get in there and redecorate and all this stuff. Let me just show you what it looks like right now. So here are my blank walls and my smart boards. The custodial staff put the desk in sing the desks in singles. Um, I'll be moving those probably to groups of three. So so far the co-teachers desks over there. I'm probably going to move that to this corner over here because that's where the outlet is for his computer. That hopefully I'll order. So here's just a pan of what my classroom looks like so far, and I'll show you what it looks like after. Hey guys, so I am back. It is 4.24 p.m. and it's Thursday, August 23rd. So um, I decided to vlog now since everyone's home um, and no one's setting up for, and is gonna get caught in the video. Um, I tried to vlog this morning on my way here, but I realized that my my phone mount does not work with this camera um, so it actually for a second held and then fell out of the of the holster so I didn't get to vlog on my way here and talk about anything um, and then I got like a few quick minutes after lunch when I was by myself to vlog uh, the beginning right when I walked in um, vlogging you know just seeing the classroom as it's empty um so i've worked in my classroom for about two and a half hours now just to kind of see how much i could get done um the first day is always a little uh hectic because there's always the school mandated sessions and we get our address from the principal and our ap's and all of the school improvement plan kind of focuses um so that that is over for now um the rest of the so tomorrow we actually get most of the day in our room and i think the only other thing we have is a department meeting so other than that we get the entire time to ourselves in our classroom so i really shouldn't be rushing myself but it's kind of nice once you're in your classroom to get started and seeing how much you can do to make the environment look really exciting. So um, what I did get done today is I put up some of the, the shiplap wallpaper. Um, you can actually see some of it behind me and underneath the smart board there. Um, I, I don't know where I put my second roll. I don't know if it fell out of the box or if I just left it at home in the pile of stuff I need to bring in. But I left the whole roll at home, the, the second roll, and I actually almost have run out of the first roll already. And I've only done the bottom row of ship wrap, sh uh, shiplap and then a little bit uh, behind me. So I'm, I'm hoping that I'm not gonna run out for this whole wall. I only wanted to get this wall done and I was actually hoping I'd have a little bit left for my door but it's really not looking like I'm gonna have enough. Uh, so, so I'm really hoping, yeah. So it looks like I'm not gonna have enough. And also I thought I got a lot of border, but I didn't apparently. So if you see behind me, I have the, let's see if I can roll back. So if you see behind me, If you see behind me here, I have um, my whiteboard that has shiplap and burlap border here. And it turned out really great and I separated the whiteboard into three sections so that I could do my three preps, my 10 honors, my 10 standard, and my 12 co-taught down here. But I didn't have enough for this board. Um, I could just tell based on how much it took me for the other one. So what I did instead was I took what I had left and I had some cork that my department chair ordered for me and I put the cork underneath of this yellow paper and then I put the yellow paper on top and then I put the rest of my border 
as you can see I didn't get a chance to really finish this corner um, and before I ran out so I actually don't have any left what I'm probably going to do is put some kind of embellishment or flower something there to kind of cover up the fact that I don't have enough border this will be really great to put announcements and information pertaining to the students it's really nice that it, it is a cork board behind so I can just use thumbtacks to mount things and then take them down throughout the year so that's a one and done thing so so as you can see my my desk arrangement I put them in groups of three here we'll see if I want to keep it this way you can see my old desk labels from last year that have numbers on them and group numbers and animals so that's from last year that's how I used to group my students um, in different ways as you can see this room is quite a mess um, and I have stuff everywhere but I just tried to see how much I could get done in two and a half hours so yeah I'm super excited we met our new principal today our last principal got promoted in the county and we met our new principal and he is awesome and he's setting all these new procedures in place to improve our school attendance and reduce tardiness and reduce everything uh, that that's negative about our school it really I think got everyone really excited to see a fresh face that really wants to improve the school and he also has a, a lot of experience in in handling uh, the same the type of pro problems that we experience so at one point in the conversation he kind of I feel like won my whole group over <laughs> with his with what he said he he mentioned in passing uh, that that wearing jeans is not for him but if we wanted to wear it with our school's spirit gear then as long as we were participating in the school spirit you know it doesn't matter so the, the fact that he said that we could kind of wear jeans on friday is amazing because our last principal prohibited it like to the nth degree which i i understand for professional development like or for professional practices but some, sometimes we would be mandated to wear t-shirts all the time that represented a certain school program or festival or something that we were doing in the school and then we'd pair it with khakis or dress pants and tennis shoes and it just looked ridiculous and sometimes it was just easier to wear our school spirit shirts with jeans. Um, it never really made sense before and people got really upset so when he in passing said oh yeah you know jeans aren't for me but if you want to wear jeans with your school spirit day clothes then by all means and in that moment everyone like got really excited <laughs> it's it's the little things in teaching it really is it's the little things that make you happy that make you want to keep going and sometimes that's just jeans on friday it really is so all right so i will check back in with you all tomorrow it'll be Tomorrow will be a Friday and it'll be our second day back and we will see how much I can get done tomorrow. Hopefully I'll find my shiplap, the rest of my shiplap. If not, we have a problem because only a quarter of this wall is shiplap. And I'm probably going to cry because I think I ordered the last two rolls that were available on Amazon. So I'm not going to be able to match the shiplap. And if I have to take it down, I think I'm going to break down in tears. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this first day's vlog. I will catch up with you next time.